All right, you guys. Hello, YouTubers. This is Newswick coming in with the 55 gallon canister filter and the hang on back uh, 350 Emperor. About 33 cichlids in here. But this is going to be a quick video for the new hobbyists coming in and want to have healthy fish. I just want to let you know over filtration is a must. Over stocking is not a must, but is a must if you want to conquer the aggression. See how my tank is pretty peaceful. All the fish are coloring up and swimming. It's all due to my husband tree on the tank. Going with maintaining the pH. I went with the sand. These are haps and peacocks, so they don't require as much rocks. So that's most or less, you know, for the little fish to get away if there was a little agitation and someone angry reclaiming territory. And yeah, they could swim around. Just go to a different part of the tank per se. But this video is mainly based on your husbandry of your water conditions and parameters. <clears throat> Make sure your fish are, you know, growing and, and, and colors are excelling to, you know, an uh, appealing form of what they do because these are stunners. These are African cichlids. They are not goldfish. They're not saltwater fish, but they do reach colors near there. And it's all due to your water parameters. You must have you a test kit on hand. To check out your water parameters is reading like a 8.0 or better I believe I like to keep it real high is your ammonia and your, your nitrates at a zero it's a must if it's going up do a water change your nitrate it, it, it fluctuates it that's all about the boobooing in the tank how much you feeding them and how they're boobooing you know a new aquarium probably struggles at 40 ppms or in that nature but you want to get it down to like zero if you can, if you have a, a you know aquarium that you're heavenly stocked, but you know when it rises, it, it, it is scary. You know it's not nothing to go in shock. I'm gonna show you here what the bare minimum of an aquarium should look like in the parameters. This is your blue valve. This is your water parameter. It's a darker blue, it's reading it like eight for pH level, and then you have your ammonia and your nitrates. You see it's yellow. High yellow means zero. That means non-toxic. That's a killer right there, you guys. Watch out for your parameters. These are the two main things you always want to worry about. Nonetheless, all three are very essential. But you want to have this blue at an eight. You want to have this yellow at a zero. Which you can see, blue is eight. Yellow is zero. You see that? Not green, not all that thing. And then you go over to your nitrate, more purplish bottle. It's reading at like a tan, so that's probably like at a five. No, not too dark from a yellow, but it's probably reading at a five out of a uh, 80 card read. Like 40 ppm is probably a new tank. It's more like an orangish red look where you can't see through it, but you see it's not too far from the yellow. So it's nothing to alarm me. It's something to be, you know, aware of by doing your parameter checks. And a new aquarium is mostly established. That probably a raise in like a week. Like, it's, there's a water change due, so that's why that is rose there. But I can put that on zero. That's safe for the fish, but to get it matching, it'll look exactly like this. But right now, it's like 5, maybe 10 ppms. You know, most people run it at 20. You do a water change. A 50% water change once a week will keep it like that. And this is just showing you that your cycling, you know, is pretty much pretty good you know it's stable that's 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 nothing right there that's okay to deal with but i'll do a water change and i'll show you probably tomorrow that it'll level out to yellow but make sure you have a test kit that's all about this hobby right here and what i wanted to talk about make sure you know what's going on in your aquariums at all times check your water parameters your pa check your ammonia and your nitrates and then you have your nitrate that's nitrite that's nitrate those are different things these must stay perfect. This can fluctuate a little bit. 20 ppm down, zero is the best what I recommend. And that's easy to fix. It's all about doing a water change. And 50% would take it up, about knock it down about 10, maybe 20 ppm. So if a 5 ppm is rising like that, a 50% water change will make that yellow. No problem. And your fish will be as happy as this here. And that's what it's all about, you guys. African cichlids is not hard to take care of. They're fun. All right. This is Newsweek signing out.
Make sure y'all checking them water parameters. Bye-bye.